pocket there just because we're right off the wall. We're trying to listen to you. I can't. They need to stop. I need to go up now and do all this. So it's section 12. If you're procession, right. I'm going to put conditions on. It's got nothing to do with silence. You have got signs that would cause class and alarm distress. Okay, right. We're not having this conversation in front of. Let's keep more. I need to go now because they're keeping more people. I need to put the conditions in. They're going to continue the rules. What's your response to that? I've always said to you, let me go speak, and let me the, speak. The, the Jewish party Do you want any other route which is better that goes, it's going to end up going onto the Strand no, and to Trafalgar no, Square. No, it's not. No, it's not. Anyway, I need to I put a line in the sand here now. Have you imposed anything? Section 12 conditions okay, are now in let's place. Let's just end this and... and okay. I will get this. Yeah, so this procession, you can stay here. You no, know no, we don't want to stay here. Okay, okay. But, but, sorry, okay. But, but, but my okay. question is, is, is my tax okay. money goes for. Okay. Not allow us to have That's okay. But we've told you I want to go right. You didn't why. No, you haven't. You made it because clear. you're you are protecting another group, another party under the, under the auspices of what criminality? Are you crazy? Well, clearly by imposing the section, you are. We are facilitating a peaceful protest. Because facilitated that. Protect our brothers and sisters in the Middle East Amen. that continue to stand strong in the face of Zionism. Oh Allah, please protect every single person under occupation across the global south. Amen. Now, for those that are not Muslim, please use this as an opportunity to hold a prayer in this one minute of silence. Alhamdulillah <laughs> Rabbil الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا
and attending on this Monday evening, commemorating all of our martyrs, all of our shaheed, all of whom will live forever. Please make yourselves your way at home in pairs or in groups of two or more. Thank you once again for attending our commemoration, our marching procession, our funeral for over 41,000 dead people, 14,000 of which are children, all murdered by the Zionist settler regime. Thank you once again for coming. Keep us all in your prayers and keep the people of Palestine and Lebanon and those further afar in your prayers as well. And of those people who have no faith, your hearts are clean and good and we see that for the way in which you come out week after week, month after month. We are all inspirations to each other. We all uplift each other. Thank you once again for coming. Everybody get home safe. Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad salawa. So we're here, we have led a procession commemorating one year of the new genocide that has been placed upon the Gazan people. We are talking about over 41,000 people dead, 13,000 of which are children. And we gathered here dressed in all black as mourners to remember and commemorate this genocide and this tragedy that's befallen the people and the greater wider region as well. Over the last year, we have seen people come together in love, in joy, in community and in harmony against the greater enemy and for the greater good with all of our hearts united and all of our spirits and all of our wills with the Palestinian people against tyranny and against oppression for justice and for truth we stood here today and we will stand here year on year however long it takes until we reach liberation we've seen some of the most horrific images come out of Gaza we've seen bodies and plastic bags all in pieces we've seen body bags after one after the other the most terrifying horrific nightmarish scenes and what we wanted to do was present that to the public in London so they could see for themselves if they've been ignoring it all this time the body bags the bloodied damaged bodies that we have and and the coffins what they also represent is a sheer tremendous amount of death and destruction and these Gazans uh, many of them have been eviscerated under the rubble they have been vap vaporized through the American and British made bombs dropped on their heads while they sleep and they've never been able to have a real funeral held for them and so we the people of London we the honorable upstanding steadfast lovers of truth and justice and humanity decided to take upon ourselves to hold this mass funeral for the people of Gaza experiencing this genocide.